Hey guys, so while I let you guys watch me pop off this absolutely stunning mermaid mani, I'll leave a link for that video up here in the cards. I wanted to kind of give you a background about today's video. I am doing a glitter placement video and this was inspired by Kate's Nails. I saw her do a video about this um, a little bit ago. I'll leave her video in my description box if you wanna check that out. She is so amazing and so talented and I love her to pieces. So she inspired this mani, but I was chit-chatting with one of you guys not too long ago and uh, one of you guys <laughs> asked me to help decide on a mani. So I, I don't know, I just picked one that I, I would have liked and since she was, you know, so kind as to ask me for my opinion, I figured, how about you pick my mani since you let me have input for yours um pick my manny <laughs> so i gave her a couple of different manny options of ideas that i was throwing around and she chose the glitter placement manny and she wanted me to use something pink so that's what we're going to be doing today i'm going to do a um pink basic manny application and I'm going to do an accent nail with some glitter placement. So I hope you guys are excited for that. If you are new here, hi there, hello, I am Marla Chris, and this is what I do. <laughs> if you are interested in this kind of stuff, definitely consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as part of the Manny fam. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And I'll continue making this kind of content for you. So I'm going to get started. Since I have tips on... Um, and my nails are a little bit longer, I'm going to go ahead and do a three-quarter dip in clear. This is something you do not need to do. Matter of fact, you should not do unless you have nails with a little bit of length to them or you're doing tips. If you would like to see me do a whole tip application, I will leave a video up here in the cards for you so you can check that out. Also, um, I will leave a video either in the cards or in the description box of how I do my prep for a long-lasting mani in case you want to go that route. So I'm just gonna proceed here with my three-quarter dip. I'm using my Mia Secret Clear. You could use Natural from Care Sky, which I do often. I realized that some products that I'm using are currently unavailable, out of stock, or impossible to find. You can substitute any clear dip powder or acrylic that you want. Oh my gosh, excuse me. <laughs> I have crazy allergies. I don't know what, you know what? It's been raining here down in South Florida for literally five days. <laughs> and the sun finally came out today, which I'm so happy about, but my allergies are real. Anyway, <laughs> so I wanted to mention to you guys, I love when you guys hit me up on Instagram and email me. My favorite part about doing this whole thing, I mean, I love doing nails. I love producing these videos for you guys. I really, really do. My favorite part, and I, I've told a bunch of you this already, I my favorite thing is when you guys reach out and watch out. I absolutely love it. And if you feel so inclined to send me a DM or an email, I will leave all my contact info in the description box. What I'm doing right now, since this is my accent nail and we're doing it clear with glitter, I'm doing one full dip of glitter and I'm gonna leave it at that for right now. I'll do a glitter placement a little bit later on and then I'll do a clear cap. But I wanted to get my base of clear down just so I didn't forget about it because <laughs> I probably would. I'm gonna get started now with my basic application. I'm using this color by Panda Dips, which you're gonna see here in a minute. I believe it's called Barely There. And it's just a very subtle, nudie, mauve light pink color. And I thought it would look really, really great with the glitter that I chose to do this placement, which you'll see here in a bit. So I'm gonna get started on my basic application. If you need a very detailed, step-by-step, beginner-friendly dip application video, I'll leave that up here for you um, so you can check that out if you would like me to walk you through the entire thing, step-by-step. -step. But I'm gonna let you guys watch for just a bit and I will be right back.
I really wanted to check in with you guys and just see how y'all are doing. I was curious if you guys were getting back to some sense of normalcy or if you were still kind of on lockdown, if you were, whether it's state mandated or you're just terrified of the world <laughs> as I tend to be. I'm like, I don't know, there's still germs outside. <laughs> So keep me updated, keep me posted. Um, I hope you guys are well and safe and, you know, getting getting back to normal life in, in some aspect. I, um, as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm getting ready to start class again. Uh, by the time you see this, I will already have started, <laughs> which I'm super excited about. Um, you know, I had a, had a lot of people asking me why I was taking summer classes. The way things work in my program, if you don't know, I'm going to school for, um, it's my final year of my bachelor's program for human services degree. The way my program works, you have to take an internship at the end of your, at the end of your, you know, degree program. So the last semester. And since the internship essentially is a full-time job, you know, they don't let you take too many credits your last semester. So I'm kind of stockpiling all my classes in now. That way, when I get to my fall semester, I only need like one or two classes on top of my internship. So that's just the method behind my madness and why I am not producing four videos a week anymore. <laughs> and you guys are so understanding and awesome and supportive. And I just want you guys to know that I appreciate the heck out of you. I really, really do. You guys are, I, I call you my Manny fam and you really are. You're like my little family and I just love you all to pieces. Anyway. Just wanted to check in and share that with you guys. I'm going to let you um, finish watch me, watching, watching, watch me <laughs> do my second dip of color. We're going to cap and clear and we'll get to this glitter placement. So stick around and I will be right back. So I'm jumping back in because I felt the need as I as I do these voiceovers, I sit and I think about, you know, things I talked about, things I want to talk about. And since I mentioned to you guys, this was kind of a subscriber picks my Manny kind of deal. I really wanted to include the rest of you guys in the fun. So I have two Manny options for my very next upload. <laughs> and I'm going to let you guys vote on which one you want to see first. I am doing a Manny with the Revel gel top coat. And I'm gonna do some chrome, which was, I believe, one of the products that you guys said was your least favorite nail product. So you um, can imagine, I'm super excited to try that out. <laughs> or the other option I have for you guys is one of the cheaper no-name dip kits that I found on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to leave this in your hands and you tell me which one you want to see first. Um, comment down below and let me know. And as always, if there's ever anything you guys want to see, products you want me to try or test or whatever, definitely leave me a comment, shoot me a DM, email me, whatever you're most comfy with. I love doing stuff that you guys want to see. So absolutely let me know and I will get that up for you. I'm going to let you guys finish watching me cap and clear real quick. Then we're going to get into glitter placement. I'm so excited. Wait till you see this. It's so easy. It's so gorgeous. Stick around.
Okay, so now that I've gotten my clear cap all done, I'm gonna go in with my Tomika activator. This stuff, if you haven't seen my Tomika dip kit review, I'll leave it up here for you. I couldn't find on Amazon this particular activator on its own. It's sold as a set with the base slash top coat by Tamika, which I actually really, really like. So if you're in the market for um, a cheaper, really, really great dip liquid set, I would highly recommend it. I'll leave it in the description box. Also wanted to remind you guys that my Amazon favorites list will be linked in the description box. So feel free to check that out. All my Amazon favorite stuff will be in there. I am not affiliated with Amazon. They don't pay me for anything, but I want to make sure you guys have access to a lot of the stuff that I use and enjoy. So that'll be there for you guys as well. I'm going to start this glitter placement finally. <laughs> the moment y'all have been waiting for. I'm using this color by Revel. It was part of their like uh, glitter fest series that they did a few months back. And here's my thing with chunky glitter. I think it's gorgeous. I think the effect of it is absolutely beautiful. But like most gorgeous things in life, it was a giant pain in the ass to do as a dip but I still like the glitter. So I figured let's do the glitter placement. And I really, really like this, this effect. You'll have to let me know what you think about it down below. So for this, I already have my base of clear down. I'm going to apply my dip base cuticle to free edge, just like I would if I were dipping, but I'm not gonna dip. Instead, I'm going to put a little dollop of the base here on my paper towel. I'm gonna take my cuticle stick or you can use a toothpick and I'm going to place these individual glitters sporadically all over my nail. And this is something you completely customize. You don't have to have them spaced out. You can pack them all together if you want, or you can have them even more spaced out and put only a few pieces of glitter. You can do it however you want. That's the beauty of this kind of nail art. You can completely let your creativity one wa one wild. <laughs> <laughs> one riled you can let your creativity run wild there we go and do whatever makes your heart smile so i'm gonna just roll on here with my glitter placement i'm not gonna show you the entire thing because i did do this for a while this is one of those things that's super therapeutic and you know if you liked the watercolor that i did um, or any of the slower nail art things that I did, then you're gonna love this because you can take your time, be in your zone, and just go ham with your glitter stuff. And that's what I decided to do on that nail. Now I'm gonna clear cap, and the base does set down pretty quickly, so you don't have to worry about the glitter pieces rolling around anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate the entire thing in clear. I'm putting it on a nice, like, it's not thick, but it's not like a super thin layer of the base because I want to make sure I have enough clear on top of this where I can file or buff over it and not injure, injure, <laughs> not break the glitter underneath it. And that's what I'm going to go do. And then I'm going to activate. I'm going to file and buff off camera. Do you guys miss me filing and buffing? I just, I feel like I do it all the time. <laughs> and I don't want to bore you guys. I will have a video up here in the cards on how I do my in detail filing and shaping stuff. So definitely check that out if you are curious but I'm going to be back with you guys for top coat and some final thoughts so stick around So I am finishing up this mani with my no wipe top coat from Nail Addict LA. Normally Nail Addict has a lot of 50% off sales, which is 
awesome. And the quality of these products are great. I believe they're the same company or a sister affiliate company of Model, not Model Ones, um, Madam Glam. So the quality is fantastic. I do have a discount code for them. I will leave it in the description box for you. I'm not commissioned, but they did offer me a discount code for you guys. If the products are on sale at Nail Addict, you can't use my code, but if they're not, you can. So good for you <laughs> and good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get this top coat on all of my nails. This is totally optional, by the way. If you are new here and this is the first you're seeing of me doing my nails, you don't have to use a gel top coat. You can use any top coat you want. I have used dip top coat, gel top coat, regular polish top coat. They all work great. I find for me personally, the gel top coat just lasts a lot longer. It stays shiny a lot longer and the actual shine of it is, I don't know, more intense for me at least, just a personal preference thing. I know that there are a lot of you guys that don't groove on gel for one reason or another. You just don't like it or, you know, you're allergic to it or you have skin health concerns with the UV LED that you have to cure it in. I totally understand. So I will leave a video up here for my top coat comparison where you can see that you can use any top coat that you want. Did you see how that top coat just brought that glitter back to life too? Uh, I myself was pretty nervous when I clear capped the glitter nail that it was going to lose its um, like holographicness because they are kind of holographic, the glitter pieces. And they did look pretty just being gold, but I was really looking for that holographic payoff <laughs> and I got it and I was so excited. So I'm going to finish up this top coat. I am wrapping my tip. Get your minds out of the gutter, y'all. I'm wrapping my tip pretty well with this top coat because I am using my peel off base coat. And I find that wrapping the tip, especially with gel top coat, helps your peel off base coat to, I don't know, last a little bit longer. Otherwise they pop off literally same day, next day. And if you want to get like two to three days out of your mani and you want to use the peel off base coat, definitely make sure you're capping your edge really, really well just to avoid that nail popping off when you don't want it to, like when you're cooking or something. <laughs> I am going to finish off my mani like I always do with my Candy Skin Care Cuticle Oil. You guys are going to have to tell me down below what you think of this glitter placement type technique. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you've done it before or if now you really, really want to. <laughs> and if you do, definitely tag me on Instagram or DM me, email me, whatever. I want to see your manis and all your pictures. You get to see mine all the time. I never get to see yours. <laughs> I know I'm needy and selfish and I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Love you. Bye.